Hi guys, Gilliam Elliott here. Today I'm going to briefly speak with you about the kidnapping of the four Americans who were traveling to Mexico for medical treatment. Uh, but before I go any further, I want to share my condolences with the victims as well as their families. Uh, now, I'm not going to go into the specifics of the story. It's been covered extensively all over the news as well as over the internet. The goal of my video today is to provide you with information uh, that can hopefully help you have a safer medical tourism trip, whether you're traveling to Mexico or any other medical tourism destination. I specialize in working with hospitals, clinics, medical tourism facilitators, and other stakeholders in the medical travel industry. But today I want to talk to you about how you can have a safer medical tourism journey by using the services of a medical tourism facilitator. Now, since this tragedy took place in Mexico, there are some things that you should know about medical tourism in Mexico. First, more than a million and a half Americans travel to Mexico each year for various medical and dental procedures. Um, this has been happening for many decades, and the vast majority of these Americans travel to save on health care costs. Uh, because here in the U.S., we pay the highest amount for health care compared to any other nation. And these Americans who travel outside of the U.S. for medical and dental care can save up to 80% just by traveling to another country. And these individuals are usually uninsured or underinsured and are seeking high-quality, low-cost health care treatment. Now, I've been in the medical travel industry since 2012, and I've spoken to countless medical tourists, and I've personally never heard of a story like this before, but I'm very aware that things like this can happen, not only to medical travelers going to Mexico for treatment, but for tourists of any kind. So since I spent a substantial amount of time training medical tourism facilitators on the best practices in medical tourism and things to educate their clients on, I want to let you know how medical tourism facilitators can benefit you on your next medical tourism trip. So you may be asking, what is a medical tourism facilitator and what do they do and how can they help you? A medical tourism facilitator is an individual who organizes medical tourism trips for people seeking health care abroad and they provide essential information and support throughout the journey. They inform their clients on things such as travel warnings about potential risk or concerns in the destination. They provide information about the background of the doctor as well as they securely transfer their clients' medical records to the overseas healthcare providers. And they handle every other aspect of the medical tourism trip to make sure their clients have a successful medical tourism experience. And typically, medical tourism facilitators, they visit the hospitals and the surrounding areas before they promote them. Uh, and during these visits, they assess the safety of the areas uh, as well as the medical facilities to ensure they meet specific standards of care before recommending them to their clients. So by facilitators doing research and their due diligence and visiting these uh, healthcare facilities and these areas, they can assist you in navigating the medical tourism process and potentially prevent situations like the one that occurred uh, in Mexico from happening. However, depending on the location you choose for treatment, you may not be able to completely eliminate certain risks. Now, the state in Mexico that these four Americans traveled to was Tamalitas. And this state is actually on the do not travel list by the U.S. State Department. And if you plan to travel to a foreign destination for medical care, you can ask your medical tourism facilitator about relevant information regarding your intended destination, such as whether the destination is on the do not travel list. And if your facilitator lets you know that there are any safety concerns or risk associated with the destination you're traveling to, um, they can suggest other places for you to get medical treatment, or they can provide guidance on how to minimize any potential risk when you do travel to this destination. But the key is to avoid being uninformed and unaware uh, when you're traveling to these overseas medical destinations. So not only can medical tourism facilitators help you avoid dangerous situations uh, during your medical trip, uh, but they can also ensure that every part of your medical tourism journey goes smoothly and according to plan. And my advice is no matter what country you plan on visiting for treatment, whether you perceive it to be safe or not, uh, use the services of a medical tourism facilitator so you can have the best medical tourism trip possible. And if you would like to contact a medical tourism facilitator who can help you plan your next overseas healthcare trip, uh, I'm going to provide a link below uh, to our directory uh, where you can reach out to certified medical travel agents. Uh, but again, I just want to share my condolences with these four victims and their families. And I hope that you found value in this video and it can help you have a better medical tourism experience on your next trip.